in this road and back.
used to do many, many years ago. Oh, and his hat fell off. A round of applause as he comes in. It's 40 years since Ray's been on one of these machines. Well done, Ray. <laughs> Tractors, seems we're in the middle of the fence. Drivers and owners can hear us. There's a ploughing festival museum, ploughing festival. That's the park in Bedfordshire. Good commercial, plenty of room if you're in the walk. Every panel and right number 174 trailer, but that looks a bit fast to be a big trailer. It's not one between the seats, right? I remember. Next one's not in the program, number 303. As you can see, I'm going to turn a cable winch. Several other places. We're taken out of service in 1990. 1995 by Mr. Charles. There's the AEC. Pretty costly to travel. <laughs> Uh, number one point is re replaced by no, it's now owned by Mr. Steve Pateman, Colby, and the day in the middle. Well, a couple of 
many miles of condition today and the result of an awful lot. We won a, we won a lorry to stay in here, so manufactured, I think, in 1913. An open back truck. Too cold. Uh, William, who Roy bought it off, is laughing. But that's a credit to Roy. Well, man, sir. Point you. We are running on the hand, This particular wagon worked on the island will be reunited with it soon, driven, much like a modern lorry. Due to the Ministry of Munitions at Kempton Park. He's got a foot plate full up there as well. Steam tractor, the Iron Duke. This engine uh, recently purchased by the President of Ruston. And possibly explained. The uh, Ransom Extraction Engine, Ransom. In 1946, she was sold to Spencer Co. It's the Aveling and Barford steamroller ever in that part of the world. But it's very nice to the Saunders collection, the current owners. Um, other people would disagree with me and I think it was then converted for Mrs. Simmons of Gloucester has been with the Wailing family since the early built in 1889 was new to Higgins and Pickering of Eastbridge in Kent built in 1903 and the pile of pieces in 2009 I mean the engine, the whizzing round and round bits it's long and brave for fen wind And that's followed by another steam car, which I don't change a little bit. Which one though? Number 67 is the four-inch gold. The engine increased, and one way to get around that problem. Sam Harris with his Burrell Hotspur, Septimus, which is 2008, called Percy 2, 8 horsepower sink double crank comp. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, line up steam in the arena is complete.